Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor represented by Profitex Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning coding at version 3 HMVC tutorial for beginners. This is our part 5. Inside this video session guys, we are going to create a parent template using our module wise concept. In our last videos, we had seen that how can we load one module to another module. So on the behalf of or using the same concept, we are going to make a parent template. What is the meaning of parent template here? It means that we are going to make a template controller so that if we want to render any view file for any of the rest modules then we can just use the template method to render our view file. Means the template view file will be our parent template. So back to editor. Now here let's say that inside this modules folder I am going to create a folder and that folder is something known as template. Now inside this template I am going to create some more folders let's say that controllers and one more folder let's say views here now inside this template inside this controllers I'm going to create our first controller and let's say that template dot php now inside this I'm going to declare our controller so class template extends and this is my controller now inside this, I am going to define our construct function first. So public function construct and inside this construct, I am going to initialize our parent constructor first. Now we have done now. Now inside this, firstly let's go inside this views folder and I am going to create and let's say that global underscore template dot php now inside this file let's say that we have an h4 tag and inside this h4 tag let's say that this is header section also we have let's say footer section so h4 and this is footer section now inside this h4 tags I am to create one more paragraph tag and inside this paragraph tag actually I am to load our dynamic content. So this is the area, let's say area to load dynamic content and let's declare one more paragraph tag and inside this paragraph tag I am to call a PHP tag and inside this let's say that this load and here I'm going to use called view method and inside this let's say that our page underscore content this is the variable actually we can set this dynamic variable inside all of the modules controller so save this file back to our template.php controller now inside this I'm going to make a method so let's say public function load template and inside this load template actually we have to pass our template content so let's say here page underscore content and let's slice this variable with a default value now after getting this value let's say that inside this data page content get rid of that and let's say that here what page content actually we are getting inside this method now finally let's set this load view and inside this view method I am to load our global template so this is inside template folder and here let's say global underscore template this is the file that we have made inside this template folder and here is the file something called global underscore template and finally I am to pass our data variable and inside this data variable we have a variable something called page content and by the help of this variable actually we have printed by using this load view so let's see that how we are using our these two files controller and the view file so for testing let's say public function it's my underscore view 
and inside this and to call a call our load template method so let's say this this is if I copy the method name paste here and inside this and to paste a path and let's say template and let's say that my underscore view and this is the file actually we have to make inside our views folder so I am to create a file something called my underscore view dot php and inside this I am to declare or s3 tag and it's a simple method or simple view file made for testing now if I save all these changes go here save this controller if we save all these changes back to config folder open up routes.php and let's create a route for that so route inside this let's say my hyphen view equal to we are using call our template controller and inside this template controller we have method something called my underscore view so copy and pasting it here now after saving all these changes copy this route name back to browser and let's say that index.php and this is our route so if I press enter now as we can see that this is our header section if I make some zoom this is our header section and this is our footer section as we have put our area to load our dynamic content and here is the content actually what we have loaded as we can see from this method so by using this method load template actually we can use to load our dummy dynamic content to this parent layout so let's see that how can we use this load template method to our other modules to load its respective view files so collapse this config folder go to modules folder and let's say that inside modules folder and to create one more, more module and this is something known as home if I press enter now home module is created now inside this home let's create a controllers folder and also let's create a views folder and this is actually we are creating file so inside this let's create a views folder and also no actually we want only these two folders because right now we are not working with the models now inside this controllers I'm to create a file and something let's say home dot php now inside this as we have to declare our class so class home extends something with the my controller and inside this first thing first we need to declare our construct function so this should be our construct function and finally we had done that now let's say that we have a views file so inside this we are going to create a file and something let's say home underscore view dot php now inside this view file let's say that with an h4 tag this is view of home page okay now inside this home controller let's say public function index or without index let's say run call home page now this is the method actually we have made now inside this method I'm to load or I'm to use our template method so firstly we need to load our module first so go to my controller so either we can just make comment of these lines and let's say this load module and inside this I'm to load our template module so copy this name go to home controller and let's say this template and inside this template we have a method something called load template so copy and paste here now inside this load template so here let's say home underscore or let's say home underscore page and the home page contains the view file inside home folder and inside home folder we have the file name something called home 
underscore view now this is the file actually we are going to load by the help of this load template method now back to our routes file and I'm going to make a route for the home view so if I get rid of that and let's home this should be inside home and inside home controller we have a matter something called call underscore home page so if I back to our browser instead of this my view if I press home now as we can see that this is the view of our home page now again in the same way if we make another module of about so just I'm going to create and let's say about and inside this let's make controllers folder and inside this I'm going to create one more folder and this is something known as views now inside this controllers create a file and something about.php copy all the contents of home controller and pasting it here this should be about and let's say call underscore about page and this should be about view and the folder should be about now inside this about views folder let's create the file so about underscore view dot php so if I copy this content pasting it here and let's say that about page back to routes folder and let's create one more route for the about page and let's say about this should call about controller and here inside this about controller we have the method copy and paste here so back to browser now this is the layout of our home page if I change the route to about now this is the layout if I duplicate tab let's say home now we have the layout of the home page now this is the layout of our home page now inside this video we actually understood that if we want to make a parent layout so that our dynamic content only gets changed so how can we fix a parent layout for that so this is the video only to demonstrate that if we have a parent layout then we can just make use of that layout or that module to load our dynamic content only if suppose we have a admin template or any of the template and inside that template we have some CSS or JavaScript links at the header or at the footer so we can separate all the header and the footer files at our global template so right here as inside this header section we can also make linking of those assets file like CSS and JavaScript files and also other footer files if we have the linkings of JavaScript plugin files we also we can make linking of these files here if suppose we have a huge amount of linkings so we can make separation of those files also so how how can we make separations so let's say that we have let's say some CSS link and inside this let's say that we have some file something called ABC dot CSS file and if I copy and paste let's say 1 and 2 so these are the three CSS files actually have linked inside our template at the footer section and also at the header section these are the at, at header section now at the footer section let's say that a script and inside this script let's say that we have def dot JavaScript now if I copy and paste these lines and these are our JavaScript plugin files let's suppose that now if we want to separate our CSS file because if we save all these changes back to browser inspect this element reload this page now as we can see that if I press Ctrl U now inside this control U we have all the linkings of the CSS as well as for the JavaScript files but remember these files does not exist so let's say that if we have huge amount of these assets linking at header or at footer 
So we can make separate layout of these files also. So how can we make? I'm going to cut all these linkings from here and inside this template, inside this views, I'm going to create a file and let's say load hyphen styles.php. Now inside this file, I'm going to paste all the contents inside this global template simply by using the concept of this load view and inside this view we have template folder and inside this template folder we have a template something called load hyphen styles now if i save all these changes back here reload this page now as we can see that output remains same it means that if you want to separate our parent layout we can also do that so in the same way for the javascript file so cut all these contents go to views folder and inside this i'm going to create a file and something load hyphen scripts.php paste all the contents back to global template copy the syntax pasting it here and this is instead of styles this is scripts for file go here reload this page and output remains same once we comment any of the template it will not appear at our code. So this is how we have separated all the layouts of CSS, JavaScript and the body content inside this global template. So from the next video, we are going to make some live examples of something like form and we are going to make some elements inside this form and by the help of those elements actually we will save our data to our database table so at the same time actually we are going to make use of the same concept of loading parent layout so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day